YouTube, what's going on? Coming to you with another video. It's been a while since I dropped a video, man. I've been <laughs> tied up, man. It's been pretty crazy. But uh, on the truck today, you know, uh, I ain't been on the truck in a while. Um, covering up some loads, you know, making some quick money, some easy money. But uh, um, just a little bit of update. You know what I got going on. Uh, I decided to go ahead and take down the uh, the LP deal, so that's not happening no more. Somebody ruined that real quick, you know. So it's, the, the truck is no longer going to be lease purchased, and uh, I'm okay with that decision. Um, we got other plans for the truck. Um, but anyways, on another note, for the title, uh, um, are you willing to do what it takes? You know, um, a lot of guys, or I don't want to say a lot of guys, a lot of people are trying to avoid the OTR. Um, everybody wants to get authority and be local. Um, or everybody wants to go to some of these carriers and be local. Um, some of these, and, and not to throw shots at Landstar, but you know, I, I get a lot of call, I get a lot of calls from you know a few Landstar guys, and I, I I understand what they're trying to do. Yeah, you might be, you might have a truck and you're running your own business, but trying to be local on a Landstar's network is going to be very tough. It's not. I'm not saying it's it's not doable, but it's very tough because you're you're only limited to Landstar low board. Okay, um, a lot of guys are getting these authorities and trying to be local um, with a fresh authority. Once again, I'm not saying it's not it's not doable. It's it's doable, but it's very tough. Um, you know, because you're limited to certain brokers. Um, and then, you know, some brokers base on your, the age of your authority on, you know, they'll, de they'll determine how much, you know, what they will pay you on that. They do that too. Um, you know, uh, depends on a lot of things, depend on which, how your business is set up. Um, some guys are coming into this game brand new with a fresh authority, new to the transportation in the industry. And they're kind of jack messing up the rates, you know? And I, that's why I say I feel bad for the drive-in guys. There's people coming in this game running loads for 400 bucks a day, you know, and, and, and saying, thinking that's okay. It's really not okay. Um, you know, and it's so saturated in the drive-in, especially in the area I'm in. Um, to each his own. Um, not to say that's like that everywhere, but, you know, I speak about Virginia because that's where I'm at. You know, I see what's going on with drive-in, you know, and Everybody's go to drive in. I'm going the other direction. But um, you got to be willing to do what you you got to be willing to do some things to get local. You know, I didn't get a local deal or a local run till about two years in the game. So um, it took me a while. I had to figure it out. I had to network. I had to open my mouth. Figure out who got what. Connect the dots. Um. Once you're in the door, shippers pay attention. They pay attention a lot. They pay attention to detail. If they see a similar, especially if you're getting a load through a broker, if they see a trucking company that's coming in pretty consistent, no issues, that contract is not gonna go nowhere. Uh, Cause they know that 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 trucking company is reliable. Um, now there's ways for new authorities to go in to obtain shippers but you got to open your mouth you know you got to go in there and you got to you know throw your pitch um it's not that hard you have to you have to speak up a lot of people don't want to don't want to talk but they want local lanes okay well you, well, you got to open your mouth you know you got to say something um just because somebody says no, don't mean they gonna, you know, it's not gonna be no forever. You just keep asking, you know. So what you getting on their nerves? Um, 
don't matter. Just keep asking. You know, you'll get you'll get a local lane, but you got to network and you got to you got to speak up. Um, I'm starting to see you know a trend with this with the with the local thing. You know, it's cool to have local you know with authority. You know, being home every day, but it's kind of like a job. In a sense, you know, um, it takes you back to if you if you ever been a local guy, company guy, it kind of takes you back to that where you you're pretty much getting up early, doing your uh, normal runs, and you know drop off the load, go home, and you're doing it again the same day the next day, you know. But um, it's good, you know, and some people like to you know some people like to um, actually ride out. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. But it got to make sense for your business. You know, if you're doing 400, you know, the whole, the whole thing about three, four hundred dollars a day. I just, you know, I get it. You might have a paid off equipment or whatever, but you're actually driving the rates down by doing that because those loads actually pay more than what you're hauling for. Yeah, it might be good for you, but you're actually driving the rates down um, just to say you're home every day. Um, but that's that's pertaining to more of the drive-in um reefer guys you already know what's up um you know we're we not doing no i don't know any guy to me personally i don't know guys doing reefer that's doing 400 bucks a day I, like that that's ridiculous but um i i'm not gonna keep this long either but i'm just saying though y'all guys gotta the whole thing about this this video local lane are you willing to do what it takes you gotta speak up you know you gotta speak up and get what you want you know it's not gonna just fall in your lap you have to network you know you got to connect the dots you know you might be able to get some that's three times a week all right we'll figure out the, uh, the other two two days you know connect the dots um don't make it harder than what it is so i just want to drop that this quick video um Make sure I like, uh, like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, just think about, just think about, you know, what you're trying to do. Just think about the type of business structure you want to have, and then build off of that. You know, if you're going to build your business off local lanes, you know, dedicated runs, then stick to that. That's how you, that's how you grow. You know keep working at it figure out okay i got a local lane set up already all right well how long is this local lane gonna last you know sometimes it might be a month or two sometimes it might be a, a all year round contract you know but figure it out you know you got time when you're driving down these roads to think of think a lot think about some things you know i think about a lot of things all the time you know everything you know i might not be right on everything but you know if i make a move on something and doesn't work out then i go back to the to the to the pen and paper and i figure it out um this is part of being a business owner you know so just think about some of these things when um when you're trying to build your business i'll catch y'all later